The solar system is a hostile place. Earth is under attack from deadly cosmic radiation. Life here is only possible because it's protected by the magnetosphere, an invisible force field that cocoons the planet. The magnetic field coming out from Earth makes a big bubble around the Earth, the magnetosphere that protects us from the most violent actions of the sun. Many of the charged particles in the solar wind have enough energy so that they would represent a hazard to human beings if they made direct contact with the surface environment. The path of this oncoming charged particles zipping out from the sun you're not inside. Some shield. You're dead. There are billions of stars in the universe, but one alone dominates our cosmic neighborhood. The sun. It's an infernal sphere of mostly hydrogen and helium, superheated into a plasma that burns at millions of degrees. Its surface rages with violent explosions as it spews out storms of deadly radiation millions of miles into space. Stand by for a journey no one would ever dare take. To the sun. Above the protective blanket of our atmosphere, and you'd be exposed to the full blast of the sun's lethal radiation. The ultraviolet would sunburn you in seconds. Next, skin cancer, then eye cataracts. We're heading to the superheated heart of our solar system. Here, invisible forces conjure up hoops of fire so big they'd swallow the earth. Where solar flares spear space with bursts of raw energy. Put planet Earth next to one of these, and in seconds it would vaporize. The ionosphere is an enveloping layer of charged particles located 90 miles above the surface, above the atmosphere as most of us know it. The charged particles in the ionosphere perform a very important function for the planet. They deflect and absorb the solar wind, the toxic onslaught of deadly particles thrown at us by the sun. Without the ionosphere, life as we know it on Earth would perish. Hello, everyone. I'm Steele McGonigal. And I'm Kara O'Brien. Welcome to this edition of Destination Tomorrow. On this episode, we'll be focusing on how radiation will affect our efforts to reach destinations like the moon and Mars. In recent years, NASA researchers have been striving to meet the goal of sending astronaut crews to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Although there are numerous technological and logistical hurdles to get over, one of the most daunting challenges facing us will be protecting astronauts from harmful radiation. Here on Earth and in low Earth orbit, radiation risks are somewhat mitigated due to the protection provided by our thick atmosphere and our magnetosphere. But outside the protection of Earth, the radiation in space could prove deadly if humans are not properly protected. Medium Earth orbit is also home to the treacherous Van Allen radiation belts. These belts of high energy charged particles can send a $300 million satellite spiraling out of control or give a human being a fatal dose of radiation. These belts stretch out from Earth like elongated rings Satellites are carefully placed in specific altitudes to avoid these destructive belts of particles from the sun. But perhaps an even more deadly danger, not at all solid, lies in wait. Radiation. The devastating effects of this invisible energy have been witnessed on Earth in the aftermath of the atomic bombs of World War II and the nuclear fallout of Chernobyl. Distressingly, our own life-giving sun spews out streams of poisonous radiation. So realize that we've been protected in this cradle. We've been protected by the atmosphere of the Earth. Magnetic field of the Earth gobbles up most of the flares from the sun to create the aurora borealis. 
in outer space. You get the aurora borealis coming right at you. There's no ozone layer, there's no magnetic field to protect you. It's just you and the harshness of outer space. At our home planet's distance from the sun, roughly 90 million miles away, several hundred million solar particles pass through each square inch of space every second around our Earth. There's high energy particles streaming from the sun all the time. But every now and then there's an extra dose of these particles. The sun burps up high energy radiation. That's bad too. That level of radiation is never good for one's DNA. Sunspots flare up these extra doses of energy, like a battery of cannons bombarding the cosmos. There's no way to know that they're going to be here before they arrive. Unfortunately, there's still a risk of radiation even as we get farther from the sun. That's because another invading energy lurks. Known as galactic cosmic rays, they hail from the distant alien worlds of exploding stars and black holes. Galactic cosmic rays are particles that are traveling at, at speeds very close to the speed of light. Uh, even a single particle of iron slamming into your body can have the effect of a major league baseball at 100 miles an hour. They can be devastating.